Hello everyone, here I am in the Dunedin Fine Arts Center. Um, I'm going to show you my exhibit that's here and it's, it, it'll be on display until August 18th. So I wanted to walk you through it. If you were to come to the exhibit, this is what you would see. It's pretty nice. I am in the main part of the section here. This is three bankers. These are the horses of the wild, uh, these wild horses of Kerala, North Carolina. All of my art that you see here has a little uh, note next to it and it tells the story, not just how I created it, but the story and the intention behind it. This comes from meditation and you can learn more about that if you visit my website, calicohorses.com. Here we are in the um, hallway with my exhibit and uh, it's really nice to see my name. <laughs> I've never had this before. I walked into it when the opening and I was blown away. That's pretty nice and it has all my exhibiting sponsors. Got Swim in the Clowns. Oh, I love this please don't touch sign because it doesn't seem like anybody's really paying attention to that because when I'm here, I've had people here at the exhibit speaking to me and asking me questions as they touch the art. So it would be really nice if they would read those signs. This is called the Heart of Kamak. This was in Houston. Uh, it's nice to have it here. This is in my per uh, personal collection. Yet a Warm Heart, Snow Leopard, See if I can zoom in here. See the eyes on this guy. Actually, it's a female, and she came to me in meditation. That took me 20 hours just to do these black spots. Now, this is all fussy cutting, so this is not one piece of fabric behind this snow leopard. I cut many, many pieces of fabric and raw applique them. I made the lace myself and that's upholstery fabric that is framing her. And this is Wind Dancers. This is a cut work tablecloth. This is an antique tablecloth. The main are all felted. Again, I see people have been touching my work, so I'm gonna to have to come back here and straighten out my work. No one's allowed to touch it but me. Sandy Sharkey is the photographer that did this work, and I'm working with Sandy on a series, Wild Horses of the World. And this is one of her photographs, and these are two stallions here in America that she captured this image, and it's my rendition of it. So this is Wind Dancers. This is Wind Whispers. It's another piece that was in Houston. It's one of my favorites. I sell prints of all of my work, and this particular piece, this supports wolfconnection.org. And Wolf Connection is a wonderful group that takes in rescued wolves, um, and they work with troubled teens and people that just need help with learning life skills. They learn from the pack. This is Wind Whispers. This is the sky's the limit. This is the Isle of Skye in Scotland. And this is a, a scene. I did all the embroidery down here. This is all hand work. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. This is all hand embroidered. I did all that heather. Um, on, I think, I've, yeah, I was traveling and I did it on tool and I laid that in when I got home because I couldn't take my sewing machine with me as I was traveling. The all wet felted in the background, that's dyed silk embroidery floss for the shaggy cow or hairy coo as they're known in 
Scotland and the little calf has some sari silk um, love oh I brought back some you can see it there's some tartan when I was in Scotland I brought home this fabric and uh, you see it let me see if I can zoom in on that you can see it in the calf especially that's all little wool tartan that was included in this artwork a lot of felting that went into this piece and that's one of my favorites I absolutely have a heart for Scotland and love these uh, hairy cows that when you go to see them you'll see them and this is the Isle of Sky and I call it Sky is the Limit. Here we have Playground Under Sea. This utilizes a lot of different techniques. It's got wet felting, dry felting. I made a lot of the um, pieces that are in here. They're from real coral that I've collected. There's dyed burlap. I've got vintage doilies that I dyed. There's ribbons. A lot of hand embroidery in this piece. Playground under sea. If you look at the dolphin back here, I wanted to make it diffused. I wanted the water to look diffused. So I put tulle over it. And that's a piece of light blue, clear, uh, sheer fabric tulle that lays back there and kind of gives them a diffused look. And that's how I achieved that. Playground under sea. This is one of my favorites. This is from the bottom of our hearts. These are emperor penguins. This has a lot of different textiles in it. It's got vintage doilies and lace. It's got, let me see if I can get in here. The little baby here is felted. So you've got merino wool, tussa silk, mulberry silk. The adults, that's all different pieces of fabric all cut and put together, stitched together with a, a raw applique technique. I use Aurifil 50 weight cotton threads. Well, if you look at the wings, you'll see a heavier thread. That's the 12 weight Aurifil thread that I used. The background is sheer organza and dyed cheesecloth. That gives me that look of uh, landscape in the background. I wanted that. And then there's some beading. Sorry about that. There's some beading down there at their feet just to show the, the ice and the snow. And that is from the bottom of our hearts. And here we have unbridled seahorses. This is dyed silk. This is wild horses, the crawl of wild mustangs. Again, this piece benefits all the prints I sell, all the work. Is uh, earmarked for different nonprofits. This one is going to go to the wild horses in uh, Corolla, North Carolina. So that's dyed silk for the sky, and it's very billowy. I'll put my hand up here so you can see it. It's a sheer fabric, and when the fan's on it, it blows a little bit. That's all wet felted background. That's banana silk threads that are in the white caps of the ocean. The mains are felted with merino wool with a blended tussle silk. The fabric of the horses are all 100% cotton. You'll see vintage doilies, beading, lace I made for the froth of the water. There's organza here, sheer, sheer organza. There's dyed cheesecloth down here. Over here we have antique buttons. I collected some buttons and strung them together to make it appear like the conch eggshell casing. And then you can just see all the different handwork I did. A lot of hand embroidery here in the embellishing. And this is unbridled seahorses. Rather large piece. This is 56 inches high by about 36 inches wide. So that's unbridled seahorses. And here we have Welcome Rain. This is a beautiful black panther that appeared to me in meditation. I'll try to zoom in here. You can see this cat. A lot of thread painting on this. As you can see, I always include lots of little animals within the piece. 
And this symbolizes the relationship that they have and how we all rely on the natural resources of the planet. We all work together as we are one family. That is dyed silk and that's hand embroidered water back there that I did. And this is the Amazon rainforest. And this is welcome rain. This is greeting between the lines. This was stitched um, on top of an antique tablecloth. I fell in love with this tablecloth. The mane is all ribbon. Let me see if I can get in here so you can see it. Yep, that's all ribbon. You can see that I choose blacks that have color in them. This adds some luster to the work. And again, I've got a lot of little animals hidden. You'll find a lot of zebra in this one birds. So that is greeting between the lines. This one's called Liberated. These are Nande parakeets. They live here. They're, they're wild here. They did at one time. They were just, um, they're considered an exotic bird and they were in uh, pet shops and they got loose. I named it Liberated. And these wonderful flock of gorgeous neon green birds um, chatter and they're very, very happy and they flock together. I never see less than 20 in a flock when they're by, outside my door. I'm, I live in Clearwater, Florida. This is Dunedin, about 20 minutes from my home. And uh, this is where they live. Let's zoom in so you can see. And this is dyed silk in the background. It's on a wet felted background. The birds are all fussy cut of different fabrics and then stitched. And that is liberated. Here we have Behold the Lee. This is all wet felt at the background. Merino wool, tuss of silk, banana fibers. It's got lace. That's all lace in the breast of the bird. And this is a red-tailed hawk. And I'm going to read to you what I've written beside this. This is a tribute piece. A red-tailed hawk often visits me in meditation. I sense a strong family connection to my grandmother, Lee, from whom I get my middle name and one I share with my daughter. Lee had a bold personality and I used colors that would personify her. She was a gifted seamstress and I felt her guiding me as I cut each tiny feather and stitched them into place. I chose lace for the breastplate to implant and to imply delicacy. This is a tribute piece to honor my loved ones. And that's Behold the Lee. This piece is Calico Messengers. This is the cover of my book that I published in 2014 about the Calico horses in Nevada. They were named after the mountains, the Calico Mountains, and you see them in the distance. Again, people have been messing with my art. <laughs> Not supposed to touch it. I'm touching it because it's my art, but don't you touch it. It's been handled. I can see that. So I will just have to fix it when it comes home from exhibit. Down here, you see lots of materials here. I've got dyed burlap, lace, old doilies, a lot of hand embroidery in here, felting. All the sagebrush behind them is felted and then hand stitched. That's all embroidery work back there. And I always use lace in all of my work. There's some dyed cheesecloth in the shadows of this horse. 
and some lace on his back for highlights. She, this mare who is pregnant, has lace in her forelock. And that is Calico Messengers. So that is my exhibit. I hope you're able to come to Dunedin Fine Arts Center. If not, I hope you enjoy this little uh, video I made. It's been just, this place, this uh, art center is fantastic. I'm thrilled to be here and I look forward to teaching here. I have taught four workshops here, so look for me to do more in the future. Thanks everybody.